Hey there, Daryl Ballard here. And just a couple hours ago, I came into the room, I was thinking about what I was going to do for a video, and I was looking at this backdrop, backdrop that you've seen in a lot of my videos before, and I was thinking about, um, this might be a good illustration for what I wanted to talk about today. You see, if you look at this, you're probably thinking, uh, kind of unusual for his office. Well, I don't really have an office. This is a corner of another room in our house that's been repurposed for an office. You see the decorations, probably not what I would have in my office. My wife is the one who decorates in our family and so that's where the decorations come from. Um, I share this little corner repurposed for an office with my wife and one of my daughters works quite a bit here too. And uh, so uh, my point is it's not really perfect. It would be nice to have an office close it off when I'm making a video, uh, but it's not. It's not perfect. And that's really what I wanted to talk about today. What is stopping you from starting your own business? Is it that you're not just after progress, but you're after perfection? So that's what we're going to talk about. Just before we do that, I wanted to mention, if, you, if this is the first time you've seen one of my videos, uh, you may not know that I'm always putting up content about how to escape the rat race of the 9 to 5 job with a successful business. So if that's something that you're interested in, and who wouldn't be, just click on that little button right down there and subscribe to my channel. And also I have a four day course, free course, on how you can develop that successful online business. In fact, how I developed my online business, and that's the first link below. So if that's something you'd like to do, you can do either of those at any time during the video. You don't have to wait until the end. Okay, so let's get started talking about mm, progress, not perfection, and what is keeping you from starting your own online business. Okay, so the first thing that I often hear is, I don't have enough money. Now, starting an online business compared to an offline business, franchise, whatever, certainly is much more affordable, but it does take a little bit of money. Now we've talked about that in other videos, we're not gonna spend much time with that, but, but just know it's something you do need some money for. You need some education, you need some, some uh, software tools to run your business. You do need a little bit of money. It's not completely free, but very affordable compared to anything else that you can do out there. The second thing I hear people talking about is time. They don't have enough time. And I got a whole video on using time as an entre entrepreneur, and so check out my channel if that's something that uh, you would like some help with. Got some suggestions there. But just in short, again, if you started a brick and mortar business, a regular business, you're gonna spend a lot more time. You can start an online business while you're working full-time with a part-time effort. I don't want to give the idea that it's not hard work. It's definitely hard work, but you can do it with a part-time effort, unlike just about anything else you can do. So what's the third thing? I don't have the skills. Well, you certainly don't need an MBA or even a college degree to start an online business. Does it require some skills to run an online business? It absolutely does. But all of those skills can be learned. You need a little education. You need a little practice. It's going to take some time, but it doesn't require a four-year degree or 30 years of experience to do it. It's something that can happen fairly quickly. Again, we've had lots of discussion on that on my channel, and there's certainly others that have approached that topic. Not exactly what we're talking about today, but just so you know the things I hear. So, what is the real problem why most people don't start an online business? Or what is a very common problem? Well, if you look at all of those, what so many of us are looking for is perfection. Like I would love to have in my office here, what it really requires is taking small steps every day, little bits of progress. Working on your business a little bit each day 
making little bits of progress and not perfection. Let's illustrate it this way. As many of you probably know who've watched my videos, I like to make videos and I think that's the best way that you can get traffic to your website. But it's not required. You don't have to make videos to do it, but that's the example we're going to use. Let's say you were after perfection in your videos. You had the best DSLR out there, you had professional lighting, uh, you had a great backdrop built into your actual office, uh, you know, everything was perfect. You had worked on the script for hours and hours. And as you may have heard me say in other videos, I don't even really believe in a script because I want it to be just talking with people like we're talking here. But, you know, you're after perfection. So you had everything written out, everything was perfect. How many videos would you make in a length of time, say six months or a year? If you were really after all of that perfection, would you get four or five done in that time period? That might be a good goal. On the other hand, let's say you just set up your, your phone as a camera, which have great cameras, by the way. You just propped it up or you set it on one of the cheap little uh, uh, tripods that you can get from Amazon for 20 or 30 bucks. Um, you wrote out a few bullet points for a great topic. You delivered it you know, with uh, passion and understanding and that sort of thing. And it was great information for your audience, but it was fairly simple, short thing. And in that six or 12 month time period, you were able to come up with a hundred videos. Which one would do more for your business? Well, I can assure you that the hundred videos, say they're average, are going to be a whole lot more effective than the five perfect videos. Okay? Hope that gets the message across. What you're really after is a little bit of progress each day, not perfection. That's the way you're going to make your online business work and you're going to be much more likely to step out and go ahead with small steps each day if you're not requiring perfection. All right? What do you think? Tell me in the comments below. If you've liked the video, definitely give me some thumbs up. And if you want to escape that rat race, consider subscribing to my channel and get on that four day free course that tells you step by step how to make that business. Okay, I'm Daryl Ballard and we'll see you in the next video.